Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Wanted to do a uh, video for you guys today on some different kinds of uh, salts. Um, some of these salts are salt in name only, and uh, some of these salts have some different uses that I'm not sure uh, people know about, and uh, some of this stuff I don't even know if people know um, that this stuff exists. So I wanted to uh, talk about this stuff real quick. Uh, with you guys and uh, let you know that this kind of stuff is out there and uh, that way you can look at it and see if it would uh, help in uh, your situation and the first thing that I have here is Epsom salt and uh, Epsom salt is uh, the same stuff that you get in pharmacies and stuff when you want to soak um, sore feet or sore ankles that kind of thing but uh, it's also uh, used for uh, uh, beneficial micronutrient for the soil. Now this particular bag here I actually bought at a local garden store um, and I wanted to uh, show this to you guys and you look on the back here I don't know if you can see that but uh, Epsom salt is uh, magnesium and magnesium is an important uh, micronutrient uh, for the soil and it's uh, extremely beneficial uh, particularly uh, with uh, like strawberries and uh, tomatoes so uh, it's not just for uh, your medicine kit it's also for uh, gardening so it's uh, something that's uh, definitely important to uh, keep around um, this stuff can be uh, either spread uh, dry or it can be mixed in a small uh, like sprinkling can into a solution and then give them directly to the plants. One other thing that I want to mention about Epsom salt uh, that's been my experience, I don't know if it's uh, uh, if it's for everybody or every injury, but I've seen a lot of uh, puncture wounds. I've seen a lot of animal bites. I've seen a lot of things like nails through feet, um, these type of injuries. And every single time uh, people went to uh, the doctor, the emergency room, room with these type of injuries, um, Part of the follow-up was to soak those wounds in uh, some type of uh, solution of Epsom salt. So, like I said, I don't know if it'll cover uh, every particular injury, but uh, in my experience, um, it was needed for those type of follow-up. So I think it's uh, very important to keep a couple bags of uh, Epsom salts around, um, and I do that. Um, another salt that I got here is uh, curing salts. Um, I've been curing a lot of meat, and uh, this year particularly, and uh, a lot of cured meat uh, doesn't require refrigeration after it's been cured and smoked, um, but you need specific types of uh, salts to do that. And the first one that I have here is uh, pink salt. Um, this is a sodium nitrate um, salt that's very common in uh, curing meat. Uh, it's also called uh, prog powder um, in German. It's called Pokel salts. And... Uh, it's used for uh, curing meat uh, a couple different ways. I use this uh, basically as a rub, like if I was making bacon or jerky, um, this would be uh, in a dry solution with uh, other things like uh, like your spices and your sugars and stuff, and you would rub this on to your uh, to your meat, and uh, that would uh, start the curing process. This stuff is not very expensive. Um, you can order it online, but I find it's uh, easier just to go into local um, butcher shops or local meat shops and just walk up to the meat counter and say, "Hey, can I buy a pound of uh, pink salt?" More likely than not, they're just going to say, yeah, no problem, and they're going to give you a little container like this. And this is actually where I got this particular um, container of uh, pink salt was from uh, my uh, local meat shop. I just walked in and said, hey, can I have some pink salt? I want to make some corned beef. And bing, bang, boom, out I walked with a uh, dollar's worth of uh, pink salt. Now, this stuff is about 7 or $8 a pound online right now, but uh, like I said, you can usually get it cheaper at uh, your local meat shops. Plus, you don't have to rely on the uh, internet uh, to get this stuff, and a little goes a long way. You don't need a lot of this stuff in um, your curing, um, so a pound is a, is a fair amount. And I have another uh, type of uh, curing salt here that I want to show you guys. And this is Morton Tender Quick. This is also sodium nitrate, um, but it has sugar in it. Uh, and this is used for different things like uh, summer sausage, hunter sausage. Um, and this would actually get mixed into the meat um, to cure it, and then that meat would uh, be smoked. Um, this is typically found in any place that has a pretty decent um, 
spice section and uh, salt section. So if they have a lot of things like canning salt or kosher salt and stuff, and they have a lot of things like um, meat rubs, you're going to find this uh, tender quick because this tender quick can be used in uh, different types of uh, meat rubs as well. Uh, like I said, anything that... Uh, any type of curing that would require sugar, like ham, you would uh, you would mix this into uh, into your brine that you would inject into your uh, piece of pork to uh, make your ham with. So, uh, tender quick, also not very expensive. A package like this, four or five dollars maybe. Uh, and again, a little goes a long way. This right here is a two pound package that I had uh, started using probably a year ago, and you can kind of see there's still quite a bit in here, and I've done couple different kinds of uh, sausage and stuff with this already so wanted to uh just go over these uh salts with you guys let you know uh that they're out there and that if you plan on uh, curing your own meat um it's good to have some of these uh salts around and uh handy and like i said some of the uh, meats that you uh cure with these salts don't require refrigeration like uh jerky or uh summer sausage and i also wanted to mention uh kind of my experience there with the epsom salts and that you can use that for your garden as well as your first aid kit but anyway this is modern refugee i appreciate all my subscribers out there hope you guys are getting a little information a little entertainment out of my videos and you guys have a great day